Okay, hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mission Impact Series with Tracy and Ty. And today we're talking about designing your business model for your social impact business. And the first topic we're going to take on is who is a change agent? Because that's the first thing that you need to understand is who is a change agent, which more than likely will be you and the people that are dealing with the um, with the community. But what is it that makes you a change agent? We need to really understand that before we can move further into it. So that is what we're going to tackle today. Um, my name is Tracy B. Allen. I'm the owner of TBA Consulting Group, and I help social impact business design, build, and fund their social ventures. Hey, everybody. I am Ty Bloom, I'm owner of Ty Bloom Enterprises, and I help mostly nonprofits move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success. Tracy, we are, we're change agents, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is yes. TV. Yes. <laughs> you're a change, you're a change, I don't think, I can't think of anybody who can't be a change agent. Right. Really. You know, when you're talking about organizations and businesses, um, you know, people who are internal on the inside are the best change agents because you can, you can, you're on the inside. You know what's going on already, right? Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times, what we, what we don't do is we get caught up in the business of the work, and we, and we're not observing what's going on around us, and we don't recognize a need for change a lot of times because we're just doing so much. Um, and when you think about change it happens on, on various levels on the inside for various reasons and various things so for us i think social impact and this is what we're talking about um is where we want to focus our change inside of an organization we want to look at things like the culture we talked about that the other day on um mm -hmm. oh, house we want to look at the culture we want to look at where it's, where it's going and we want to see where it's falling short where do we need to make a difference and how do we move that organization or that business in the direction of making the difference that equates to positive change? Because you can change in a negative way. <laughs> so right. you find, what is what are the what are the goals for change? If we need if there's something going on internally with the with the, you know with even with the board, if the board is thinking a certain way or, or behaving in a certain way or um, you know have a certain attitude. Who is the, who's the person who's responsible for recognizing this thing, especially if it's something that's going to be uh, a negative for the organization, right? Mm -hmm. And who who has the who has the guts to stand up <laughs> for uh, you know for, to to ensure that a positive change occurs? We need to change the environment. We need to move in this direction. Um, and, and and what plays into that? Not not just your opinion of you know I don't like my board, so I think we need to change. But how do we assess and evaluate? A need to change and then who's going to be that person and it could be anybody like i said to stand up to to initiate the change right i mean that you kind of said it all right a change oh. agent is really just someone who sees a need in the community sees a need period it could be in your community in your home it could be uh with family members in your church it doesn't matter where the um the the place is is that you see that there's a change and you're willing because that's that's the first step. You have to be willing to stand up and assist in that positive change, right? Mm -hmm. So creating a plan and implementing the plan and executing the plan because they're all different things, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to create the plan first. How am I going to tackle this change? Why? First of all, you got to figure out why it, this is happening, right? Get to the root of it. Why is it happening? Create a plan for for change. Who are you going to bring with you? To help because most of the time we can't do the change by ourselves right unless it's something really small but if it's community change societal change you need to bring a team with you and mm -hmm. those people have to have the same mindset as you like they have to understand that this is a problem and want to come up with solutions and are willing to do the work to um to uh usher in change right uh so that is who a change agent really is Someone who is willing to step up, step up to the plate, bring other people with them to assist in actually enacting change in that community, in that society, in that person, whatever it is. Like, you know how they do interventions, right? Family interventions when somebody's going off the rail. That person who is the one who initiates that intervention, that person's a change agent, mm -hmm. right? 
So it doesn't even just have to be in the social, big social impact space. Most of the times we start as change agents in our homes, right? With our friends. And then we realize, oh, wow, we're always helping people. Mm -hmm. And then we end up in careers that we continue to help people. You know, <laughs> right? Who says solutions, yeah. right? A lot of people want to make, you know, want to introduce change, but they don't have solutions. So, and, and, and when you don't have solutions, nobody really hears mm -hmm. the, the change that you want to make. So we have a lot of people who are out, you know, whether it's in your community or in your home, or whatever, saying this needs to change. This need, how? <laughs> like what? Like what solution do you bring with this? So I, I think being a prepared change agent or, or or having to prepare to be a change agent will also afford you the time to develop solutions or at least have you to to suggest solutions mm -hmm. um, for the problem that you're trying to solve because if, if, if it's not a problem then there's no need to change it you know if there's if it's not right. a problem, there's no need to address it um but what are the possible solutions you have to bring forth a positive change so if you don't have any sometimes you know you, and i've heard it before like if you don't have a solution be quiet right it's like why do you, why do you keep why do you keep bringing this up and you, how can we fix it you don't know right yeah. um but if you're not part of the solution then you're part of the problem mm -hmm. And that's what it is. So you talk, 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 talk. But okay, what are we gonna do about it? Mm -hmm. I mean, like you said, there are those people. They talk about it all the time. They're always bringing awareness to this is going on, but they offer no valid solutions to the problem. So then stop talking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> turn the pot, right? Just turn the yeah. pot. No solution. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's it. Do you have anything else you want to add? No, no, no. Um, be change agents. <laughs> yeah, we need a lot out here because you know a lot's going on in our community, and we just need people who are really willing to stand up and champion certain causes and rally other people to come along with them to do the same. All right, so that's it. Until next time, guys. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. Uh...